All right, I'm gonna share with you how to transfer Canva email designs into Klaviyo without going to spam. So let's say you created this beautiful email design within Canva, and now you're wondering, how do I actually get this into my email software like Klaviyo? I'll share with you step-by-step -step exactly how to do that. If you're new here, my name is Zach Schieffer, and last year I helped my clients do over $20 million from email and SMS alone. So without further ado, let's get into how to do this. So we need to first export everything from Canva. So I'm going to go here and you can do this a couple different ways, but just to make things easier, we're going to select everything within your email, just like that. Go ahead, click download selection and keep the, these things simple. So you can just do one X as the size. Don't compress it yet and make sure you have a transparent background and don't limit the file size. So we're going to hit download right there and we will wait to download this. And while that's downloading, I want to explain the next steps here. We actually don't use Canva very much. We actually use Figma. And so the easiest way to make slices is actually gonna be with Figma. So it's very simple. All you need to do is download a free Figma account. Super simple. We're just doing it for one singular step within the process. So you'll download Figma and you'll open up a Figma file just like this. And what you can't do is just directly drag this file from your downloads folder into Figma here. What you need to do instead is you need to get this import large image plugin. So it's very simple. You just go search it up and that'll allow you to upload a large image into Figma here. So I'm gonna go to plugins here, import large image. Here is where we need to drag it into and boom, there we are. Now we have this large image and as you can see, it has full quality. If you wanna play around with the settings, you can to do 2X or 3X within Canva, you definitely can, but we just do 1X and it works great. So what we're gonna do here is, as you can see, it's not really how it should be looking. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna hit F on our keyboard and make a frame, make sure that is 600 pixels wide, make it super tall. So we're gonna drag this guy into your frame, just like that, make sure that it obviously fits the frame as you intend. So now we're on the same page. So basically whether you're using Figma or whether you're using Canva, at the end of the day, it's gonna be a pretty similar process here. You'll get to the same part in the sequence, which is this right here where you have this nice design, it's well-made, it's in Figma now. So again, this is gonna apply no matter what it originally came from, we're gonna be creating slices. So you hit S on your keyboard and we want to draw out these sections that aren't too tall about this height is what we go for. So make sure everything matches up, make sure all the corners are good to go there. And then we're gonna slice up this entire email. So I won't do the full thing just to make things easy, but you're gonna make slices just kind of like that. Make sure that these corners, these edges are perfect. So we'll make that slice, copy paste, make that slice over here. If you look on the left, you can see we're making slices. Like these are little image slices that we're gonna import into Klaviyo. So just hit copy paste. That's how I like to do it. Let's say this is gonna be the extent of the email. We could go on and on, do the rest of this, but let's just do these four slices right here. So we're gonna take these four slices, select all of them, and then hit export on the right-hand side. So that'll be in your downloads folder. And before we put this into Klaviyo, what we need to do is now we need to compress these slices. So we simply go to imagecompressor.com, take these slices, open up your downloads folder, and you're going to pretty much unzip that file right there. And then you can drag all four of those image slices, boom, boom, right into there. Just to keep things simple, we'll do download. If you have a lot, you can hit download all. But you can also see here, make sure that it looks good. You can choose like the amount of compression. There's other tools that you can use. You can play around with some of this stuff, but make sure it looks good. Make sure it's not compressing it too much. Shouldn't be too much of an issue when we're using this site. Now you can take these slices and you can go into Klaviyo. So hit create campaign. We'll do like Lonnie new test right there. And then we'll create an email. This is where you kind of be doing your normal stuff. So, you know, in this case we're doing whatever, choose your segment, choose your list, go over here, and then you can choose an email template or you can create one, whatever you want to do, put in your subject line, put in your preview text. Won't worry about that too much. And then we're going to go ahead and delete all this and we want to start fresh. So delete, delete. Let's start with this right here. Now to pretty much have these image slices, we're going to just drag in an image right there. 
And then we can do slice one and we can actually drag it right there. And then we can duplicate, go ahead, do that same thing over and over slice two, just like that. And then we can do two more just like that. So where we go ahead and replace these slice these guys up, boom, just like that. You can also drag it directly if you want to, but just to make things simple, here's the process that we will go through. Boom. And there we are. Let's do, looks like this one needed to be three. There we are. So let's assume that this is the full email. What we always like to do here, a little pro tip is we like to move this up just a little bit. So we'll go into styles and we'll get rid of that margin at the top there. And same thing for mobile. We don't like to have any gap at the top there. So assume this is the full email. So what we're going to do here is we're not ready to send quite yet because these image slices aren't going anywhere. So we want to add some alt text. So, Hey, they're beautiful. And then link address is going to just go to whatever. If it, let's say we're going to the Alani new website or whatever, wherever you want to send this, we can go into here can add your link and then you'd add your alt text here shop now and save 15% link address, do the same thing here, add some alt text. This is how we get excellent deliverability with these image based emails. A lot of people really screw this up because they don't add alt text. They don't add the links in there and they don't compress their images, which really screws things up, hurts conversions. And that's why people say, oh, image based emails go to spam. It's because they don't do all of these different steps. So now we have this email in here. It all looks good. However, we also want to make sure that we actually have an optimized footer in here as well. So I'm going to share with you what that might actually look like. So I actually just created it, but basically what we have here is an optimized footer where we actually have real live text. So a lot of people are like, oh, image based emails are going to go to spam because there's no live text for the people to read Yahoo, Gmail, all that. There's no live text. And what we do actually here is we actually include live text with all of our emails. Don't really think it actually matters if we do include that or not, but just to be safe, just to check all our boxes here, as you can see, this right here is like real live Klaviyo text. And the good thing about this footer as well is that this right here is like a PNG. We want to make sure you're always adding that alt text and adding that link address. Same thing. This is a PNG. So this footer is this entire email actually is going to be optimized for dark mode. So if I share with you here what it looks like in dark mode, a lot of emails are going to look terrible if you're not doing this optimization, but the images are going to look the same in either mode it looks the same. And then here, your footer is going to look great as well. You can see with the logo there and with these buttons, these are clickable buttons. All of this is clickable up here and down there. And it all looks amazing, whether you're in dark mode as we are now, or if you are in light mode. And so that right there is how you create a full email. Again, the key here is that you're including these image slices, you're compressing them and you're adding alt text and you're making sure that everything looks good in both light and dark mode. That is how we generated over $20 million last year for our clients. If you want some help with this, go ahead and simply go dcom.com. Check out our website, take a look at some of our case studies here. This brand, we helped them do 514 extra grand per month. Basically I took this brand from 131 K to $2.4 million per month. I helped this brand out, helped this brand out, helped this brand out. And so many more, I really helped them scale their email marketing revenue. So if that sounds like you definitely check out zhs-ecom.com book a call, speak with us, and we can talk about a win-win partnership. Appreciate your time.